Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's One Piece Treasure Cruise video, it has been a long time coming, we are going to do some Grand Voyage, specifically the first challenge against the local sea monster at level 3, because over level 3, at levels 4 and 5, the challenge is extremely hard to clear, so I will try to help you guys do at least level 3, and we are also going to show two team variations in this video. By the way, I am not going to use V1 Sanks at all, so do not worry about level limit break in these two teams, you are not going to need it. Not even as friend captain. If of course you want to see more Grand Voyage and you enjoy these types of videos with hard challenges, definitely leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Now without further ado, let's get to my teams and strategy versus the local sea monster. Team variation number 1. We are going to use Roger as our captain. Sanks crew as friend captain entering on Sanks. The Liberal Hind will be our ship for more damage. And if we check the ability list, I am running Legend Odin support, the super type version, on Roger to get a Wayno slot, but I don't think it's necessary. Then the rest of the units have stat boosting supports, even Roger can probably have one. But you need bind ship ability resistance on Viola at level 5. Without that ability at maximum level, you can't clear. So you need to limit break plus Viola and also max out that ability of hers. No other limit break ability matters. It is of course beneficial for all of your units to be limit broken. Not limit broken plus though, other than Viola of course. And as far as Cotton Candy goes, it is only needed on the Legends. You do not need to put Cotton Candy on your rare recruits at all. And the plus 100 on attack will be more than enough in my opinion, the more you have the better. Now in the first two stages, keep swapping the Sun Screw and stall a little bit, so you can gather up size slots for the Versus ability of Sunks. You need to use the Versus ability in the final stage and it is super easy for you to charge it up. When you are ready to leave stage number 2, be certain you are on the crew side of the Sun Screw. So in stage number 3, you can swap to Sanks to get an attack boost and some guaranteed matching slots. Then target Higuma and take him out with two attacks from units with matching slots. And then attack everyone else. We do not want to take out the stage out in one turn, we want to take it out in two. Most likely one enemy will remain alive. And what you want to do is swap back to the crew and then clear proceeding to stage number 4. The reason we do that, of course, is so we can swap back to Sanks in stage number 4, and that will allow us to clear easier. After you do the swap, what you want to do is activate the Versus Sanks special, and that will give you an orb boost, a full board of guaranteed matching slots, boost your base attack, and next stage, extremely important, give defense down to the enemy. After Sanks, activate Viola to remove the attack down completely, and make certain you hit the perfect required to carry her or boost in the final stage because it is highly important. Finally now, in the last stage, we are going to encounter the local sea monster, but also Higuma again. And after the preemptive, support Odin if you are using him, will activate giving Roger a Wayno slot if he is at maximum level. Then you want to activate Roger for a high attack boost and to increase the duration of Viola's orb boost and his super type for a full board of matching slots. Then activate the Sun Screw to get the chain lock. After that, Versus Sanks' ability is extremely important because now we can get a conditional attack boost against the defense down enemy. And finally, Treasure Map Vivi to get a color affinity boost, but also get one in the next turn if you hit your perfects which you should. Make certain you start on Higuma, attacking with Viola, and then attack with Vivi the local sea monster, followed by all of your legends, ending on Roger if he has the Wayno slot for more damage. In my opinion, if you have the Wayno slot, you have more margin for error, but without it, if you hit all of your perfects, I'm pretty certain you will be fine. Now, in turn number 2 after the revive, activate Rayleigh, so everyone other than Roger can penetrate the damage reduction and all of them will have an attack boost as well. Start with Roger and with the orb boost, the color affinity boost, the new attack boost and the chain lock, hitting all of your perfects will grant you a victory. Oh. 
For team variation number two, we are using Roger as captain again and the Sanks crew as friend captain, but we do not have versus Sanks, we have Mihawk and Perona in their place, entering on Perona, and then we have free to play Sai Straw Hat Frankie instead of Treasure Map Rare Recruit Vivi. I know Vivi is a limited character and many of you do not have her, but everyone has Frankie so hopefully the replacement works for you. Now for supports, everyone uses a stat boosting support, everyone even Roger, and Viola again needs to be limit broken plus with a maximum level limit break ability for ship bind resistance. Without it, you cannot clear unfortunately after the revive. In my opinion, this team is better than the other one because we do not need to stall and charge up a versus ability, we swap to the side of the Q crew and we immediately clear stage number 1 to proceed. In stage number 2, we cannot immediately proceed, we are going to swap to Shanks, clear the majority of the mobs on the stage, leave only one or two alive, if you get attacked it does not really matter here. The reason we do that is so we can swap back to the crew and also to Mihawk before we enter stage number 3. So do that, take out the remaining enemy and proceed. Entering stage number 3 against the weaker Higuma of the 3 we are going to face, swap to Sanks and then swap back to Perona as well, target Higuma, taking him out with one or two attacks depending on your slots, but in one turn, and then you can take out as many of the mobs as you can. We cannot clear in one turn and we do not want to either, because in turn 2 of this stage we want to swap back to the crew, then attack again and this time enter stage number 4, being on the Q side of the Sanks crew. In stage number 4, in the last variation, we had an easier time because of versus Sanks, here we do not have him, so we need to swap to Sanks for the attack boost, and then we also need to swap to Mihawk, and after that activate the beautiful Viola of course to remove attack down completely, and get an orb boost. Make certain you hit the perfect required to carry the orb boost in the final stage, not that hard to do. Start your attacking chain with Mihawk on the mob, and then attack with your Sai units on Higuma, ending on your captains of course for maximum damage. In the final stage for both variations of this team, middle left unit, meaning Rayleigh, will be specially rewinded, but he can resist it, and the same will happen for Viola, but we do not need her anymore, so it's fine. So make certain you have these two units in these spots. Now activate Roger's Special and Super type. Again, full board of matching slots, attack boost, and we are going to extend the duration of Viola's orb boost. Then activate Sanks to get a chain lock. Then you want to swap to Perona to be on the Psy side of the unit, apply negative status on the enemies, and activate here to get a 2 times conditional attack boost. And finally activate free to play Frankie for a 3 turn color affinity boost and complete defense up removal. Now it is time to attack, you want to make certain you start on Higuma and hit him while also taking him out with Frankie, then Viola on the local sea monster and then your legends ending on your captains for maximum damage and if you hit your perfects, which you should, the resilience will be no problem. So the first clear is complete, and now the local sea monster revives, and what we are going to do is, after Roger removes the despair completely, we are going to activate Rayleigh, who will give an attack boost to all of the units except Frankie and Roger. We can also penetrate the damage reduction, with the attack boosted units, so for maximum damage start with Frankie and Roger and then everyone else, all of your cerebral units, hit your perfects and beat the local sea monster for good. And these are my two team variations against level 3 of the first Grand Voyage challenge versus the local sea monster. Similar teams with two replacements each time, hopefully helpful enough for you guys to clear. If you have any questions, feel free to tell me in the comments down below, and if I forgot to mention something, also tell me to help others possibly. Thank you so much for watching, take care, and I'll see you in the next one.